everybody, welcome to Sunday Brunch with Black Tea. I'm your host Miko, and this is my wonderful co-host Candy and Lynn. And today we have a special guest for you. We have Miss Karen here who's going to talk to us about some health and fitness, guys. You know, we always want to keep fit and stay up with the times. Um, and she's been through so many generations of health and fitness that she her background is extensive when it comes to the knowledge, health and fitness, and nutrition. So we're gonna get we're gonna talk to her in a little bit, but first we're gonna talk about brunch. Yeah, I know we gotta talk about brunch. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, first off, let everybody know what we had today. Okay, let's let okay. people know. We had some wonderful egg muffins. Now, it's oh, not no. the egg with muffins where you put the egg no, on some no, bread. No, no, we actually had up. egg muffins that were baked in a muffin pan, and we had some sauteed um, red and orange peppers with some um, onions and some... Spinach. Spinach. Yeah, spinach. spinach. That was Very my favorite good. part. And we topped it off with a little bit of uh, cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. And then we also had some Belgian waffles with some delicious, oh my God, I love sausage. those sausages. Yeah. Sausage. I'm trying to tell you, right? <laughs> okay. That cheese is the chicken sausage with right. the spinach. Now, <laughs> now Miss Karen here, though, no, she's <laughs> cheese, so, right. you know, but we had the sausage, yeah, you know. We did. We did. Um, I feel like the way it looked, too, though, because it was all, you can see all the... Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 and all of the little herbs. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah. it's so good. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had some wonderful fruit, and we also had some delicious uh, rice pudding. Yes. Well, yeah, that, that was good with the rice. Yeah. I don't know what y'all know about that rice pudding, but that rice pudding is good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but so you know. We're gonna get going here, you know. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get going here. Yeah, right, but, but real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, I just need to make sure you uh, give us all the details because we all are trying to get fit. Absolutely. Okay, so oh. when you dive into it, just make sure you don't be leave sure. nothing out. Sure. <laughs> yes, sure. We all are trying to get fit. But we're Absolutely. gonna talk to Miss Karen here. We're gonna get her started with everything. She's gonna tell us what it is that she does and um, how she can possibly help a lot of us nowadays when we think about these diets and all of that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So first off, let's just start off. Introduce yeah. yourself, tell us what you do and um, how you got started and everything. Let me the tea and <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me start. Okay. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for having me. Um, oh, you're welcome. I you're love to talk. Uh, <laughs> I shall find out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am a health and fitness coach specialist. Hmm. Um, I used to be a, just plain old personal trainer and just plain old group fitness instructor. Okay. But I went back to school and added more and more on to it. Um, real quick, diets don't work. <laughs> diets don't work. That's why I said that. That's yeah. why I said I that. I have never, I don't want to always see anymore, never, but I never did a diet. Ever. Right. I've never, never. Good. That's good. I've never, oh, I'm going, no. Never. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe it. Because history has shown us, and people have shown us that I diet, I lose weight, but I'm losing water and muscle, mm -hmm. which is the muscle is what I want to keep and I need yes. to stay hydrated. Right. Mm -hmm. And I lose the water and muscle and I look like I've lost weight. And then guess what? Three mm -hmm. weeks, a month mm -hmm. or two later, it comes back and for most people, it comes double back up. double up. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So so before you get too far off into that part, just, just you know, let us know your, your history. My How history. How long you've been in this industry? Mm -hmm. you it's know, been 30 Three years. I started off as a bodybuilder. I saw a picture of a lady at a friend's house in a magazine. Her name was Carla Dunlap. Okay. Beautiful, five feet one inches, beautiful symmetry. And I said, I want to be like that. I want to have that. Mm -hmm. So I would leave my kids at home with my mom at 5 a.m. in the morning, go to the gym, and I would work out. I decided that I needed a trainer. So I got a white boy trainer who was a fire chief. Mm -hmm. And I worked hard to the point where I was squatting 250, 260 pounds, oh, wow. leg pressing 380 pounds, bench pressing 120, 130 pounds oh, yeah. at my size of 4 feet oh. 10 inches. So this is what I was doing. Um, I found out by doing that that I was getting stronger yeah. and leaner. Mm -hmm. And the stronger and leaner that I got, the happier I felt mm -hmm. because I didn't have all that weight on me. Now, each person, and this is something I found out in my studies, each person has their own genetic makeup. So we're not all going to be a size two. Right. Believe it or not, some of the people that I have trained that were size two and four were overly fat. Whoa. 
all they had was thin, no muscle, their bones were thin and weak, and they needed to put weight on. So it's not about the size, it's about where you are starting from and where you need to go to. It's your genetics is a big right place, up. a big yeah. Right. And your mom might good. have been small and your dad might have been big or vice versa. So yeah, that your genetic is your makeup mm -hmm. of how you're going to look. And I tell the ladies that I do work with, it's not about that the beauty comes from within. And I talk about three of the nutrients that we do need. The first nutrient is oxygen. So I work with you in breathing, deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling. The second nutrient is hydration. So we want to stay hydrated by drinking water. The third nutrient is the foods that we eat. Now it's fun to have a bag of chips or something like that sometimes. Okay, I do it as well. But what are we putting into our bodies are the whole foods that the bodies need, that our bodies do need. So I went back to school again, as I said, um, took all of these classes in nutrition, fitness, um, classes that a lot of people, uh, kinesiology, and they're like, well, what is that? Well, that's the functioning of the body, levers and movers, and I began to learn how to move the body the correct way. That's where I'm coming from, 33 years of experience working with it. Um, there are times when someone asks me a question and I go in teacher mode and they're yeah. like, okay, <laughs> wow, so I didn't know that. I'm about to ask you a question now. So that, so, so basically what you're telling us that is a workout plan that you make for me might not be good for her or might not be good for, for, for them. Right, right, right. So, right. right. Absolutely. so everybody, you know, and everybody's results are not going to be the same. Absolutely. That's you know, right. So, uh, you know, and that's, and that's the one thing. People, you know, we look at these, everybody look at these magazines mm -hmm. or look at people on TV and they say, oh my goodness, oh, you know, I, like I want to look like right. that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I want my, my, body, my body to be like that. They start working out exercise and they notice that. They're working for that person. It's but working, not for yeah, them. but not for them. Mm -hmm. they, they're losing weight. Not, they're or they're seeing the instant results. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and they're like, well, my body, I lost 20 pounds, but my body don't look like that. Well, right. it's not designed the same way that person is. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. It's not designed. So, I normally what I will do with my my individual clients is I give them each their own type of workout. We have a constant consultation first. Okay. Where are you? What are you doing? What type of foods do you eat? What is your what is your lifestyh? Mm -hmm. You might work That's from deep. midnight to 8 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't give you the same thing for a person that works a nine to five. Right, right. You might have children, that person doesn't. Right. Mm -hmm. Understand? So it depends on yeah, your lifestyle. As you said, it depends on your lifestyle. Each person's lifestyle is different. And that goes for the men as well, not just the women. That goes for the men as well. Yeah. Speaking of that, so what's the difference? Why is it that men lose more weight than women? I'm trying to. No. Okay, I am <laughs> Prince System. That's what I want to know. Our endocrine system. I want to know that. Our endocrine system hormones. Men have a hormone called testosterone. Mm -hmm. Women have a hormone called estrogen. Mm -hmm. Testosterone builds muscle. Mm -hmm. Men have 98% testosterone and 2% estrogen. Women have 98% estrogen and some progesterone oh, right. and 2%. <laughs> now there are some women that have like 3% testosterone, but on the average, that's out on the average, it's not that. On the average, it's about two percent testosterone. Okay. So they're not going to build. We are meant to have babies, okay? So we need that little extra cushion of fat. And believe it or not, women's lower body pound for pound is stronger than a man's lower body. Where a man, our upper body is stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's called. Hormones from what's called our endocrine system, which is controlled by the brain. Okay. Okay. So you told me I, I can lose weight by my brain? Well, not exactly lose weight <laughs> with your brain. Your brain is, though, 83% water. Um, there are other systems of the body that control or are fundamental in helping you with weight loss lifestyle. We have 11 systems of the body. The endocrine system is only one. You have a muscular system, a skeletal system, an immune system, a digestive system. The digestive system is the system by which we digest the foods that we eat. Food combinations can get caught up in there if you're eating the wrong food combination. So weight loss is more than just um, Nutrition, okay? It is a total lifestyle change from movement 
nutrition, um, and the way that you live. Okay. So what are some of the other ways that you can um, help us lose weight? Well, one of the major ways of weight loss or weight management, I like to call mm -hmm. it weight management, That's good, okay? Yeah. I like that. Um, because yeah. everybody is different. <laughs> Genetically, we right. are different. Right. Another way of doing that is exercise, movement. Now, not everyone wants to join a gym. Mm -hmm. That's me. I like, I like <laughs> exercising outside. So yeah. Okay. So there are a lot of different things that you can do. We have Kenneth Hong Park here, hike. We have different hiking trails there, go hiking. Um, join a Tai Chi class that they have at the park. Tai Chi yoga classes at the park or at the beach. The other things that you can do is walk stairs. Walking stairs are a weight-bearing exercise which actually helps to strengthen the muscle and the bones. Mm -hmm. Another one, water exercise. Get in the water. If you can't swim, join a program at the um, at some of your local parks have pools and you have water exercise. Believe it or not, water exercise is easier on the joints. You know what I'm saying? I got bad knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got those bad knees, yeah. you got that bad back, you got that shoulder, you're going through yes. therapy or something like that. I keep, that. I keep hearing that. I keep hearing that. But no, I keep hearing the pools. Yeah. I keep you being a little that. short. Not short. I just don't you like being wood. I just don't like being wood. Why are you like that? I'm taller than three feet. Okay. I'm 5'1". Okay. 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 But believe so it or not, most of the exercises are done in three feet. You're right up here. If you're taller, then you can go to the water right here. They have equipment that you can actually use in the water. It looks like styrofoam. Mm -hmm. And they have the pool, the noodles. Oh, yeah. That adds resistance. So it's just like you're lifting your weights right in the, um, like you're in the gym, but you're in the water, the weight good. training. Well, I want us to get a private pool to get the water. <laughs> I can't oh, get sure. that all up on dirty people. Okay. I'm going to go jumper pole. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, that's, that's a whole other story. That's like bathing with a whole bunch of people. You don't know. A, a, a live gumbo. Okay, so. <laughs> Anyone does the number one, it turns blue. I don't even want to be. They might be dirty though. Just, 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 just hit it. Take a bath. Yeah. yeah. This I is just, a bath. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's 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 I know everybody in that pool. If we the first ones in that pool for the day, uh -huh. they ain't in that pool. I can't get in that pool. So squash the water. Right. 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 I need to get in there because I can get back out and take another shot. Okay. Another thing, biking. Oh, that's the best. Local park, local beach, mm -hmm. they have a lot of biking trails. Um, go biking. Biking is an excellent way of exercise. My husband mm -hmm. lost his whole stomach like that. He made me so My husband like biking too. He no, I'm biking. talking about he was catching. He was taking the bus, but he was taking his bike to the bus, mm -hmm. and then getting off the bus, riding his bike to the job. Again, he kept doing it again. again. So it was, was just, yeah. I said, you know what, you ain't never going to go to work and lose weight. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, in the position that he was in forward here, he had to hold his That's core serious. muscles. Yes. Yeah, he had to hold those muscles strong and tight. Then he's doing weight bearing at the lower end, also weight bearing here, holding on to the oh. um, handles of the bike, doing the weight bearing right, right. strengthening mm -hmm. the upper body, chest, That's arms, whole back, whole back His whole body was great. His whole body was great. He's got to the bike up in the bus. He's got to like, okay, I'm going to take it and lift the bike. You like, you got keys, here we bike my bike to work it was only eight miles but I'm putting you know I couldn't put it on there so I rode eight miles in taught an aerobic class trained a couple of people rode eight miles back mm. it was great yeah. so those are just some of the ways for people who don't like to go to the gym okay. for people who do go to the gym I see some of the most horrible things at the gym we don't know how to work out right no I know I know I need a trainer. so we have yeah I suggest to everyone Get a trainer. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's for six sessions and they show you mm -hmm. how to work out. You, you know, know how to use it because I had a trainer Absolutely. before mm -hmm. and I just went to my backyard and did everything he showed yeah, me. I, I had a trainer too, it. but my trainer kept fighting with me, honey. Oh no. <laughs> 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 Good. She was good, mm -hmm. but yeah, I was, mm -hmm. ooh, I 
I think it's just because I just wasn't into the gym. Right. You know that's what I'm saying? And when, when that's not your thing, you, you're you going to Yeah, yeah. You're be like, but mm -hmm. outside, I, I would do well because I'm out in the open. Listen. I feel like I'm a Bring that good air. You know what I'm saying? That good air. Because right. right. you're a germ for you don't want to be with everybody else. Really. Yeah, you want to be outside with small. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just talking about the You want to be outside with small instead of being inside with the that I train at a local park. Okay. That's and they train on their lunch break. We come in and they're like, oh my God, Miss Karen, you're crazy. Yes, right. My name is Cray Cray. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> kids <here> today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these are just some of the things that you can do. Exercise doesn't mean you've got to do 100 push-ups and you've got to join the gym. Joining the gym is great, but the majority of the people, especially women, when they join a gym, they take a group fitness class. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, I think for me, I, I work out better with a group. Mm -hmm. right. Even if it's one other person. Yeah, right. Because, because we, you know, it's somebody that motivates you, to push you, you know. Yeah, to and I, I get bored. Me, yeah. uh, is that the last time you worked out for me and you worked out? Um, no, I actually worked out after that. <laughs> Because it's been some years. It's I was going to pop right. you if you yeah. was. No, I was like, I actually worked out after that. I actually started going to the gym with my husband for a while. Oh, that was good. And then he started flaking on me, and I tried oh, to go by myself, and I got there, and I was like, okay. Like you need it. You know, what, what, do I, what do I do? I'm bored, you know? Yeah. And then um, then I said, okay, well, I'm going to go, you know, outside and I'm going to walk, you know, yeah. and, and, and do some things. And that worked out. You know, I was walking for a while, and it, actually, I was seeing results. Like, yeah, you know, right. Walking really does. You know, because I walk, walk around my neighborhood and, yeah, you know, the hills and everything. Yeah. Right, so right. I was seeing the results and everything. Mm -hmm. But then, because I was, again, by lifestyle. myself, lifestyle. and then, the work, and then my lifestyle, yeah. you know, my work and everything, you know, I just was like, eh. Yeah, uh, so it, you want to have a variety of diff different yeah, that's things. It, that's the thing. And have a friend. That's what I was going to say. When, when I walk with Michelle, when we go, when we go walking, it's so funny because my legs are longer, her legs are short. <laughs> but she's like, when we're not gonna walk, um, we're not gonna do no fast walk. We're just gonna walk right. <laughs> but my strides are longer than her, so she's still right. double stepping. So she's like. You know, I feel like I'm working out hard. <laughs> because my legs are moving right. faster and yours are just moving like this. Right. Mine are moving like this. I said, well, you must need it. <laughs> it's working out. Yeah. Whatever. It was okay. okay. But yes. Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of um, a lot of things that can that you can do as far as exercise, as far as fitness. Mm -hmm. um, dance classes are huge oh, now, especially, right. I just hired a Latin dance instructor at um, the gym that I work at, nice. and she does everything from merengue to samba, African dance is mm -hmm. huge. Oh, yeah. It's all uh, yes. yeah, it's yeah. all of that, and it, 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 the expression is the whole entire body. Mm -hmm. So as far as fitness, it doesn't matter if you're pumping weight, which is great if you're doing a dance class, but movement is essential. Why? Because it utilizes calories for energy. So a lot of women take or rather have the notion that I want to burn a lot of calories, but I don't want to eat a lot of calories. Calories are energy, mm -hmm. pure and simple. Mm -hmm. How much energy are you taking in and the form of energy that you're taking in is in food. Mm -hmm. um, foods, liquid, solid foods is energy. How much energy do you put out? So you want to balance it. If I take in 1,800 um, calories, I want to burn at least 24 to 4,500 calories. It can be as high as that. It takes really. Yes. So let's let's look at it like this. For every one pound of fat, it takes 3,200 calories to burn one pound oh, wow. of fat. Weight lifting, weight training, some form of weight training will burn, will utilize um, fat for energy, but burn more calories. Mm -hmm. Cardio aerobic exercise, cardio aerobic exercise will burn lesser calories. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can endure it a little bit longer than weight training. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to lose, I want to lose two pounds, no more than two pounds a week healthy wise. That's 36, 7,200 calories, 7,200 calories a week that I'm going to utilize. Right. right. Oh, and wow. I can do that. Walking up and down the stairs. So, let's so you're say burning maybe, calories sometimes unconsciously, not even really knowing. You're burning calories all at sleep. Time, yeah. You're burning calories when you sit on your couch and you stand up. Mm -hmm. You're burning calories when you get in your car and out. You're burning calories at work. So you're unconsciously burning calories not knowing it. Right. 
what you want to do is, in addition, utilize more calories um, for energy by doing something a little addition. That's why we talk about exercise, okay? Let's say I'm home today and I don't want to do much of anything. I get up and I clean my house. I'm doing the vacuum. I'm going to, I'm going to wipe down the walls and everything. I am utilizing calories for energy by doing that. Let's say that I want to walk up and down my stairs maybe 10 times. I'm utilizing calories for energy then. Now for dinner, I have, um, let's say, um, fish and um, a nice big salad. Mm -hmm. Well, I only took in X amount of calories today because I ate smaller amounts of food, okay. but I'm still satiated, but I ate more smaller amounts of food and I put out more calories right. than you I took more. in. Yeah. Right, you burn more. So that's where they talk about burn, baby, burn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so exercise is a fundamental part. Our, our, our forefathers were hunter-gatherers. Mm -hmm. Women didn't sit around um, and just sit around and watch television all day. Bon 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 right. They didn't have that. They were busy throughout the day. They had things that had to be done to keep the village running. Mm -hmm. Laundry. Laundry. Oh, God. Up yeah. yeah. uh, and down the stairs, we're going to do laundry, but they did laundry like manually. Yeah. Men went out and they hunted and they gathered the food and the women cooked it and they everybody had their part to play. However, now we might still see women that are heavier, and you said, well, they're doing, a lot. They're, they're doing a lot, but that's their genetic makeup, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So based on your genetic makeup, you can do 100 leg presses, 100 squats, 100 push-ups, and you say, well, wow, I'm getting a little stronger and tighter, but I still haven't come down to a size 7. Well, maybe you weren't meant to be a size 7. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were meant to be a size 12 or 14. Society and the magazines tell us we want to look like that to wear that dress. Right, right. But you shouldn't have to conform. To conform, it. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to conform. So right. we just want to move. We want to have additional movement. Sometimes we might have an in um, injury. Mm -hmm. You have an injury, that area, like I hurt my shoulder. So I'm careful what, with what I do with my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I can't do as many push ups, I can't do as many shoulder presses. Right. So what do I do? I use bands and I modify the workout that I do. There's modifications. But that's where working with a trainer yes. comes in, a fitness coach. Now, now, answer me this. So when you say get a trainer, now, that's something that I kind of manifests to where a lot of people are going into that field because yeah. they feel like, you know, I don't know, men just feel like they're naturally built and that somebody they can get the, the ladies to, you know, train with them. Right. You know, right. And not necessarily for the right reasons. How do you... Um, Pick, how do one pick a trainer? Interview your trainer. Find out not just so much what type of education because you can get a personal training certification in three days. You go through a program, you take a test, and you can get that. When I worked at one of the gyms, I didn't hire you unless you had biology, anatomy, and physiology. Why? Because now I know you know the body. You just didn't do a, a three-day test and you got the knowledge, which you don't have the knowledge. Um, there are certain uh, certain movements which is called kinesiology, where our body's in certain planes. So, uh, for instance, if you tell me I have a shoulder injury, I know I'm not going to give you a chest press. Right. <laughs> Why am I going to lay you down there, give you a weight, and tell you to press put it up? Yourself, I'm going to put yeah. more strain on that. Because so, a lot of trainers, that's what they think. They think by working the, the you know, injury, yeah, 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 yeah. right. so it's on you. Helping it because they're not educated, and those are the type of trainings I'm trying to, like you said, right. should be avoiding. So, there's yeah. something else that I will do in therapy. In therapy, I've worked with physical therapists, I've worked with chiropractors. I had a lady when I was working at one of the facilities, she was in the Holocaust as a child. Beautiful lady. I worked with her physical therapist to help strengthen because she had osteoporosis, osteopenia, um, weak muscles, everything um, by what she went through in, um, in, the, in the camp. So I, I don't mean to cut you off, but real quick, you keep talking about working with a physical therapist. A physical therapist and a personal trainer are somewhat the same, mm -hmm. in my opinion. 
what, what do you, I mean? In a way, so physical therapist is only going to work the area that needs to be rehabilitated okay. and injured. Yeah. A personal trainer is going to work the whole body. So if you tell me, if I'm, I work with your therapist or your chiropractor and they tell me, well, we're working the lumbar area, it's the neorectal muscle grouping, um, we've, got, we've got to strengthen that as well as her core. Well, I know what she's talking about, what she or he is talking about. So I know that I have to strengthen the core. However, you have uh, this injury and that injury compounded, so I know that there's certain exercises that I can, I, you are limited. So I need to make modifications in your workout. If I have a three-day certification, I have no clue. I'm going to have you, you to do something. Right. 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 I'm going to tell you to squat. And drop so, yeah. And ten more. Yeah. yeah. And probably and injure more. And injure more. Yeah. So I know that what I give you based on what your therapist, your chiropractor, your doctor has you doing, I know that the exercise I give you is going to assist that. So do your research when you're trying to hire a person. Do your research when you're hiring a personal trainer. Ask them how many years have you been doing it. Um, uh, what, uh, in addition, what else do you do besides weight training? Mm -hmm. And also with the educational background. With it's your different. educational background. Can you do modifications? These are questions you want to ask them. Okay. Well, no, I don't do modifications. I just tell you what to do. Yeah, I have one. I have one. Way. Yeah, I have one way, and this is my way or the highway. Right. Then highway, and I'll go this way. Mm -hmm. Another thing you want to say with with your personal trainer is that this is what I want. These are my goals. Can you help me to attain those goals? We all have a goal. Most most ladies will be like, "Well, I want to lose weight." You want to do that, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to look at you, and I'm going to tell you. You might be able to get there, but guess what? Let's first get you strong and healthy first. Mm -hmm. That part we'll work on. And as you get there, every six weeks, let me go back. Every six weeks, the body plateaus. It reaches a point where it is into maintenance. I might need to change one or two things in your exercise program mm -hmm. so we can get past that plateau. Okay. So these are the things that you want to ask them. Well, if I reach a plateau, well, how can I get past that plateau? Or I want to be a size. Um, I want to be. I want to weigh 140. You no, know, baby, you don't want to weigh 140 pounds. What you want to do, or what we can do with you, is let's get you to a, a, a weight that is comfortable and healthy for you. 140 might not be. Well, I was that when I was 18. That's great. I'm glad. You look beautiful. You're beautiful now. But let's keep you strong and healthy. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the goal. My doctor told me that, too. She was telling me, you know, um, I want you to lose weight, but I don't want you to get no smaller than, you know, 150 pounds. I looked at her like she was crazy. I was like, what? What? You know, 150 pounds? What about 145? She was like, no. She said, 150 pounds is what your body is the, is the minimum that your body should weigh. It's the minimum because mm -hmm. of the way you're built and, and, and you know and everything like that. Mm -hmm. She said you have to take into consideration that the 150 pounds includes uh, like muscle weight. It includes water like weight. us as women, mm -hmm. water weight. No, we water have weight in our bones. bones. It's, it's, called, yeah. too. it's called your you know, lean so. body mass. Yeah. Your muscles, your bones, your body organs. Yeah. Your liver weighs yeah. something. Your kidneys yeah. weigh yeah. something. Yeah. That's where all my weight is, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Organs, right? <laughs> in my organs. So we, you know, it, it it's funny because a lot of times people go to a trainer, they go to a gym, and they want a trainer, and you have someone that says, "Yeah, I can do this for you," and "Yeah, we're going to sit down and we're going to do this, 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 and this." Do your homework first. Mm -hmm. You know, ask questions. Interview a couple of trainers. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stick with the first person. Interview a couple. I have a program that I do. I call it the BACCS. Balance, mm -hmm. agility, agility okay. your core, coordination, and strength. Balance. By a certain time, we begin to lose balance because we're all focused. We go, we're going to work. We're taking care of our children. Uh, we do sitting more. You know, we're in our cars driving. We're not biking. We're not exercising. Mm -hmm. So we begin to lose our balance. In a fitness program, you should be able to improve your balance. So if I stand on one foot, you see people doing yoga and you're like, oh yes, yeah, they're strong, they can do this so easy. But they learn how to balance. Yeah. How do they learn how to balance? By strengthening their core and their muscles. Yoga, believe it or not, is a weight-bearing exercise. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of people, but it increases your flexibility and your range of motion. Let's say I go to the cabinet and I'm getting ready to reach up and grab a box or a jar or a plate out of the cabinet and I go, ouch! That's because my range of motion has tightened. Has ligaments and tendons and everything have tightened, so it's limited, so I hurt myself. By doing yoga or stretch program, it doesn't have to be yoga. Okay, but a stretch program yeah, can help you increase your exercise anyway, right? You don't have to stretch before you exercise, right. but after you yeah, exercise, right? And so the muscles right. expand, you have muscles that, expand, yeah. right? And you release that tension that's inside of those mm -hmm. muscles. Mm -hmm. Next right. is agility. Yes. How many of you crisscross, crisscross, crisscross? We did it when we were in school. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we have fun. And we did it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just five. Just five. Just five. for me. Yeah. 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 But our agility has stopped. We lost our agility, our movement of going forth, back, forth, back. You know, you yeah. see them on the football field, on the basketball courts, they're drilling it. That's agility. There are drills that they go through. So what your training should do is to help improve your agility. Okay. Next, core strength. Everybody says stomach. Stomach is the organ by which you digest your food. It's called your abdominals. Mm -hmm. And your core muscles are front, side, and back. There's no upper and lower. It's just the muscle fibers in the front of your core muscles. Some run up and down and some run horizontal. So you have vertical and horizontal, but it's only one muscle. But what gives you that six pack then? The fat off of the muscle. <laughs> also, you can okay. see the muscle. You can actually see the muscle. Uh -huh. Yes. That's what gives you. Everybody, we, you have a six pack. I know. Oh, I know. I got one. You know, a six pack. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. They know it's there. They was in there with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, can you put your right hand over your left, your left right. hand over here? Right. You learn that especially when you're <laughs> right. doing <laughs> especially when you're doing yoga and weight bearing exercises. Okay. Okay, stretching, flexibility, weight bearing exercises, weight training, your coordination, you're you're going to do exercises and especially in the group fitness program. Okay. When you're taking one of their classes, you will actually work with your coordination. Next is strength. Okay. We have 650 muscles, 206 bones of the body. Mm. 325 muscles on the right, 325 on the left. 206 bones of the body. They need to be strengthened. You want that red bone cell marrow inside there, which helps to keep the bone strengthened. You want to move it. The only you want to regenerate it, not move it. You want it to regenerate. The only way to do that is by doing resistance training exercise, water exercise. If you don't want to go into the gym and lift weights, okay. yoga exercise. Okay, resistance training, let's say we do a stair workout and at the end, every time we come down, we do five or 10 push-ups. Mm -hmm. Go back up, five or 10 push-ups. Mm -hmm. Let's say you do that four or five times, guess what? You just worked your upper body as well as your lower body. Those are weight-bearing exercises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. double up. <laughs> so these are the things that you want to look at want to do and you want to have incorporated. It doesn't have to be everything in one workout, right. but as you're working with your trainer, now I give my clients homework. Mm -hmm. Homework, yes, I give them homework. Today, what we're going to do is this, and this is what I want you to do three more days out of the week. Not what we're doing, but I give you something that I want you to do. Mm -hmm. well, that's good, keep them going. Keep them going, going keep them motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Karen, I did this. Mm -hmm. okay. One of the things that happens is as we get older, you hear about a person fell, fell and broke their hip. After the hip broke and they fell. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. So something that makes sense. Because the bones, the, the, the hip bones are, are already they fell because they, they were oh my And they God. try to take a step, step over to the right or step it, over to the it. left. Their agility and coordination is oh. off. They have no core. Wow. You see people walking forward, mm -hmm. leaning forward, and they can't lift up because there is no core strength. Well, okay, I have a question real quick. Because well, you spoke about their, if a person um, fall, they, they, they work, their hip was already broke. How do your bones get weakened? Like, 
but like not a movement. movement. Yeah, not that's movement. it. Yeah. Not a movement. Not a movement. They're laying there. They're like, oh well, I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna take a siesta for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they've taken that siesta for about 20 years. Nothing has happened. Plus, they're not getting the correct nutrients okay. that they require. Okay. okay, so they do need vitamins, they do need minerals. Mm -hmm. Your bones are made up, your body is made up of about 80 minerals, okay. what we call trace minerals. Some are macro minerals that you hear about calcium and magnesium. Mm -hmm. When there's boron, phosphorus, inulin, uh, copper, zinc, there's so many um, minerals that the body requires, and some of those minerals are good for the bones, but you're not putting them into yes, your body right. because of the way that you're eating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the bones become weak, lack of exercise and movement. When you do any type of resistance training, the muscles are working, but guess what? The muscle is putting a stress on the bones as well. Mm -hmm. Making the bones say, hello. You, you're working me. Yeah. I'm, I'm working too. You're and so I'm going to get stronger. Now, we as women of color lack a lot of the vitamin D. Yeah. That isn't part of our genetic makeup. I but guess that. what? That vitamin D is good for the bones as well. Yeah, I was, my, my, my doctor told me that and told me to go in the sun. <laughs> I mean, I've been getting so much vitamin D because I've been in the sun because it's charcoal. Because the melanin in my skin, you guys, that's it, why, it burns. Because it's already, yeah. you, you already know, got the melanin. It burns. So that you don't, you, you're, you're running from the sun. Yeah. yeah. I don't want the sun because I'm already brown, pretty right, brown, right. and chocolate, <laughs> right. whatever the case may be. So you're running from the sun when you really do need to go sit out here. Yeah, so sunscreen. Sometimes the sunscreen, especially for our skin, is not really necessary. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Yeah, it's not going to do it. So we want to... We already have it naturally. We naturally have But we, But that's a misconception because we can't get burned by the sun. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what you need That's why I said that. Well, mm -hmm. even when I put sunscreen on, I sit in the sun and... You still get... You still I literally yeah. start seeing ashes yeah. on me or something. Uh, you know, it's like either the chemical is burning on top right. of my skin, then it causes my skin to yeah. get to burn, or what it is, but I can't just sit in the it's sun so for a long period of time. I went to a concert with my cousin one time years ago. We sitting out there when the sun was cooking. I promise you, she looked at me, she said, what's all that white stuff on you? I had, my skin had ash. Burn. It had burned. Burn. And it yeah. literally ashed. Whoa. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I looked crazy. This looked like white ashes all over me. That's why uh, you need so, to wear like a hat or something. Mm -hmm. I have to, uh, to mix some real. A, 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 a light, <laughs> light, like a, light color type of, uh, uh, covering yeah. over your arm. So the sun mm -hmm. is getting yeah, to you, but it's, it's, it's not. Yeah. Right. A lot of people think we don't burn. We burn. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We burn. So we we want to work out. We want to exercise. We want to move. Don't worry so much about the weight loss. I know. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, those scales that they have that you should weigh a certain amount and you should be a certain size. This height, yeah. this height, this weight. Well, and ladies, we are of a different descent. A yeah, different I was that, that's right. 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 That yeah. part. Yes. And that was made for someone starting, I think I did, they did that back in the 1940s and 1950s for a person of a different culture, mm -hmm. a different size, mm -hmm. a different build. Mm -hmm. And we definitely are not that. Yeah, we don't yeah. fit that. We don't it's, fit it's that. It's not universal. <laughs> right, no. it's right. not <laughs> universal. So when we do, I do a body fat test on people to give them a generalization, but don't fit that norm, that little scale that they have. Like so what is the average BMI a person should be at? It depends on your age. Okay. So it depends on your age, body mass index. Um, I know a girl where I used to work at, one of the places I worked at before, she was big, 200 pounds. She could do step or roll, but she taught these classes. Mm -hmm. That was just her genetic mm -hmm. makeup. But she was good, she was healthy. Every time she went to the doctor, everything came out well. Yeah, some people are just saying that. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Or you look at somebody and think just because they're thick bone, right. thick or heavy, mm -hmm. or they're not healthy. Right, or the opposite because, because you're skinny. Yes, oh, you are. Yes. Right, right. Yes. It's a lot of healthy, skinny fat people. Oh, yes. oh yeah. my God, so many. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Well, you know what, guys? We have learned a lot of good stuff today about health and health. Absolutely. You say, and I, I really, really want to thank you, Karen, for coming yeah. and joining us today and teaching us yeah. a lot. I, 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 learned awesome. a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I really did. I am so informed. Right. I know. I got 600. Right. I did 25. Yes, yes. And I learned some of my bone rags. Right. right. 206. Right. 206 bones. Are you on this? Yes. I'm going to give you some, 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 some. Trainers.
coming in and just blessing us with all this information and all of that good stuff. And before we go, I want you to just tell everybody Bless how they you. can contact you, get in touch with you. Okay. Well, um, you can contact me at morehealthyyoutube at gmail.com or karen.more3 at gmail.com. Everything else, I'm building up the website. I'm changing over to some new and exciting um, areas that I would love to share with everyone. So contact me at morehealthyyoutube at gmail.com or karen.more3 at gmail.com. And let's see what we can do for you as well. All right. And then any information also, guys, that you want to um, know about Karen, you can also check out our website at www.blackteacomplete.com. Her whole, um, all of her information will be on the website as well. So if you have any questions, you can either drop them in the, um, the comment box below and someone will get back to you. Or just check out the website, shoot us a, um, a little message saying that you want some more information about Karen and what she can do and how she can help or even how to get in contact with her. Um, again, we want to show off our wonderful glasses for the day. Yes. This is something from Black Tea Complete. Again, you're more than welcome to check out our website and see any of the things that we have to offer there. We have um, personalized gifts. Yes. Um, if you have any, any anything coming up, we have personalized gifts, or we can sit and create something for you. Um, you know, if you have something in mind that you would like to do, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe, oh, people. Don't uh, subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Subscribe. Yeah. 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 Um, I want to thank you guys for joining us today, and until um, next time, let's connect and let's network. Bye. Bye.